Okay, so here we are in part two, and we're going to finish the programming part of our meme app. Um, we've uh, put in the if then statement, and we have this equal sign line that we got to do something with. So we got to tell it um, what we want it to pay attention to, which again is the button one image. So I'm going to come over here to um, button one, click on button one, scroll down scroll down to the green areas and this time we want the light green male part that says button one dot image so you got the male part you got that button one dot image we're going to click and drag that over we're going to put it in the um, equal sign around the left hand side of the equal formula oh hang on let me reload And I have to open it back up again. All right. Come over to blocks. Hmm. Looks like there we go. Let's try this again. So I'm going to come over to button. And I'm going to scroll down to the light green area where we get the male part light green button one dot image. And drag it over and connect it. Oops put it inside the equal sign okay so now we're saying okay button one dot image which image well it'll be the first picture so we need to type that in again so I'm gonna come over to text again and scroll to the top choose the quotations put that in there and this time we're gonna uh, use the first image now what I'm gonna do here guys you can type it in if you want or you can copy and paste the text from here and just change the two to the one so I'm gonna I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna highlight the text and copy it control C click down here and paste control V then just change the two to the one so you can type it in whatever's whoops whatever's fastest um, quickest for you is fine okay uh, so we've got that now we've got to uh, drag um, the set down so come up here I'm going to drag this down here so now what our program says that if button one image is equal to meme one first picture then set the image to meme two Okay, so far so good. Uh, problem is, again, we once it's mean two, how do we get it back to mean one? That's kind of what we're working on here. Um, so let's go go to this little gear, this little blue gear here. Let's choose that, and we're gonna make an add an else statement. So take the word else, and we're gonna kind of drag it over here to the virtual if, and notice then the else statement populates below it. Okay, so if if then or else gives us some options. Okay, so now we are going to duplicate um, this up here, this line right here. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to choose duplicate. It makes a copy, and I'm going to put that under the else because it's basically the same thing except we're going to change this. Um, what the picture is supposed to be back to the first meme. So I'm going to click in there, type a one, and now we have our program kind of complete. So let's let's read through this, make sure we understand what's going on. It says if button one image is equal to mean one, then set button one image to mean two. If it's not equal to mean one else if it's not equal to mean one then set it to mean one so there it is all we got to do now is click and drag it back up into our our overall holder that says hey all this starts when the picture or button is clicked or tapped all right and uh, that's that's it we've now completed the programming part of our first app now, in order to test it, you'll have to go get one of the um, um, portable app uh, 
devices or, or tablets and you'll want to come to the connect button up here go connect and you want to use the AI companion and the AI companion will generate this Q, um, um, QR code or you'll need this so in your app and, and we'll show you how to do this in class in your app you'll either have to scan this or type this code in and it should work for you all right congratulations test it out and um, feel free to come back if you want to feel like uh, uh, doing some more see if you can add a third picture um, or see if you can add a sound um, when things are tapped um, and we'll see how you do there all right that's the end of part two